Hey everyone, this is Jeremiah with Whisker Nipper Catfishing. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how I make my sabiki rigs. <clears throat> um, here in Tennessee, we're allowed up to seven hooks if we want to, but I prefer only four. Reason being is you get too many hooks and you get caught in your hands with um, the hook. And they get a lot more tangled messes or anything like that. Um, I use these only for skipjack fishing for our baits and that is key for catching <coughs> the skips or for going cat fishing. Um, what I'm using on my main line is 15 pound Berkley Trilene big game mono. I'm going to be putting on shiny heinies. I have whites here, which work really well. <coughs> I also have some green ones. You can use these white or green jigs. Pretty much any type of crappie jig will work. It gives them a flash effect. These are the, sorry, my fingers are in the way. But there you go, you can see that they've got about a quarter ounce worth of lead on top. Um, and then my trailer is going to be a fully spoon. If I can get one out of here. They're a fixed jig um, with a fixed hook. And basically all it acts is it gives them a flash effect at the at your tail end. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our line here. I like to use the whole or the line as my main line. <coughs> Some people use a swivel at the end here and they'll just cut off about three foot of line and tie up all their jigs. I don't like doing that. Reason being is you got that much extra to hopefully not get broken off. So I'm going to do is I'm going to use two of these white grub ones, one of these green shiny heinies. You can find these online. Um, you can find them at Walmart, Tackle Bandit, um, Amazon if you need to and then I'm going to use a white um, Foley spoon Get these. And You'll need a pair of scissors as well to cut off your tags. These are all brand new so they're uh, the eyes haven't been broken off yet for the paint You can use a hook to open up the eye. So you can get your line through. Once you got all that done, Take your line, we're going to feed all three of your hooks, main hooks, on first. Just get them up out of the way. Take your Foley spoon, and we're going to do an approved clinch knot. It's one of my favorites on a on anything. It it's a nice knot. 
nice tight knot. Getting stabbed here with uh, the hook. These foils are from Catfish Sumo. They make a uh, single hook or a treble. I prefer a single. I would like to wrap it about eight to ten times and then send it back through and then back through one more time. take the scissors and cut off our tag so it'll look like that and then from the bottom of your foley spoon to your first one I like to leave a little bit longer some people like to leave about two feet. Some people only like to leave about a foot. I'm about 18 inches. I fold it in on itself. Wrap what they call a surgeon's knot. Wrap in. Basically make a loop. Come inside of it. My hands are not working well with me tonight. So it'll look like that. And then we're going to go one more time through. Pull it nice and tight. So you'll be like that. Your next one, do the same thing, but your I'm only set it about about a foot apart. Give yourself a lead line. Fold in on itself. One more time. Pull tight. <clears throat> and the last one. So we are going fishing in the morning hopefully we can get some bait get stocked up and one of my favorite places to go so once you have everything together, it should look like that. I don't know if you can see everything, but you'll have one jig, next jig, third jig, and then your Foley spoon. You don't have to use a Foley spoon. You can use, like I said, you can set it up to being just a jig down below. 
I've got one set up to being like this one right here that has a popper float with a jig, another jig, and then another jig at the end, and then a Foley spoon. Um, popper floats are really no, good for when skips are not wanting to bite. It makes an effect of a feeding aspect for them. Then they'll start wanting to move around. They are native to uh, the salt water and then they've started to come up and adapted into the fresh water for us up here. And a lot of them are near dams, near anything like that. So it's a good way to catch them for catfish. That is essential for catfish is bait. So that'll be it for our conclusion for um, making the skipjack rigs. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to always go fishing, have a good time, and just enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.